the microphone is directional. I'm an entrepreneur. My name is... Oh. Uh, yeah, so I... I'm in the middle. I'm the guy with the hair. I uh, do a lot of different things, and I like to do them with people. I think people make it make it better. But um, what's funny is that I paid all these people to be there for this. It looks like they're having fun, but they're actually being paid. Um, <laughs> that guy's like, <laughs> he's having so much fun. But guess what, dude? I paid those girls to be there. All right, man. It's my buddy Mark. He's a good guy. Jennifer's on the right. She's a foodaholic. Um, all these people love food. I love food. And you're gonna learn that tonight. I love a lot of things. I like drinks too. Um, that's a very simple drink. It's mint. It's lime juice and lime. It's soda water, sugar, and rum. And that's all it needs to be. Simple and easy. It goes down. Um, it helps the food go down. Oh, food. Um, for foodaholics, this is pornography. Um, this is like, mm, like, this is just like really delicious. And I'm, I think I am a foodaholic. I actually feel like I'm in a meeting with a bunch of people who love food because you're here. And Bentara is one of my favorite restaurants. This is from Guilt, which I think is funny because, anyway. Um, where does our food come from? <laughs> it comes from the farm or the animal. <laughs> That's from a farm. Um, this is uh, basics. This is what I like. I like to go to basics. Um, it's basically what happens. Where does it come from? Where do I come from? Do you remember that book, Where Did I Come From? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Oh, there's me. <clears throat> so I did that. I had uh, two drinks in the middle of the street. And um, if you notice, the lights were changed different colors. So I, would, I had a, an excuse to the officer as he pulled me over. I said, hey, it was, one of them was green. Um, this is Anthony Camposano. A beats. Does anyone know what a beats is? Yeah. Okay, that's a real pie. That's one of the earliest pies in New Haven. In fact, the Camposanos predate Pepe's. They had pizza in the hill, and they served the, the flea market and the farmer's market there. That's a, an anchovy pie. Um, there's Pe Frank Pepe. We all know him. Old Reliable, they called him, because he made the most consistent pie ever. Um, he, uh, there he is. Yep, and you can read that stuff. Um, this is actually from the Yale Daily News. Uh, he now has six restaurants. He started out small, serving people, delivering, and now they go to him. And I think part of the deal is quality. All right, I'm obsessed with pizza. Did you guys know that? Um, I'm obsessed with pizza. This is Ernie's, um, my favorite pizza place. And um, I actually would just get mozzarella pie if I was gonna go there right now. Um, but it just, are you hungry? <laughs> I have, to go. I have to go. I'm really hungry. Oh, that's funny. That's Connecticut. Um, that's that's where people come from when they come to uh, my my food tours. It's one of the things I do. I lead food tours around the Haven, and um, they come from all over Connecticut. They come from other states, but um, there's actually a town in Connecticut called Collinsville. They named it after me. This is really boring. Uh, Greta, why don't you let me put this in there? This is, this, is, this is how popular my website is. It has nothing to do with me. Um, it's actually my heartbeat when I see pizza. Um, you can see, and then it goes down. Um, so part of the deal is that when I advertise, I'd rather do something that's sustainable and catchy, but really cool because that's made of cotton. It was made in New Hampshire entirely, um, stitched there as well. And that's actually a way to advertise the business I'm doing, which is an idea just to inspire you all and go shopping. Because don't just eat out. Oh, eat out, I'm sorry. Um, really, that's what I'm saying. These are the people I work with. Um, it's about community, um, and it's built, in, this is not all of them, but it's the idea that all these places are colorful, they're local, um, most of them, and in a sense, they actually are all my friends now because I'm hungry all the time. Um, this is, <laughs> this just makes me hungry. I think the thing is, um, because I've always been an artist, pictures speak a thousand words, so if you look at this, what does it tell you? It's making your stomach acids like turn over and do things. So in a sense, what I realize is I love food and drinks. 
And this is a Caribbean dream that was concocted by the bartender at Zafra. And uh, the, the drink is a rum-based drink, but if you look at it, it's love. It's literally, it's just love. There's something about it that just inspires you to want to drink it. Even if you're a non-alcoholic, they could take the rum out. Um, there's nothing about sweets that I, I don't, I, I think you can all do sweets, even if you're on a diet. Um, life is too short. That's another big point I like to make. Life is way too short. Um, we should be eating sweets all the time. I love cupcakes. Um, and I love all assorted brownies. The last were from Catalina's. This is from coffee. Or should I say coffee? Um, but these are, this is sort of the idea is that sweets, we may look at them and say, oh, I can't have them, I can't touch this. But you know what? Have a little bit. Have something you like. It'll make you feel better. Um, that's me tonight, right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually, I did this. Hello, New Haven. Does anyone know who that is? Was anyone there that night? OK, good. I was mocking somebody. I just impersonate people all the time. Um, yeah, good. But uh, that's, uh, that was fun. These are my two new heroes. Um, they're Fun Lai and Jason Sobosinski. Um, Mia's and Casius, and uh, they're my heroes because they inspire me and they inspire others. They do good, they bring up a great product, and they just, they're successful businessmen in that sense. To me, it's all encompassing. And now, me. Uh, um, so, that's actually my business card. I have like eight of them tonight. Um, I guess the idea is this, and I'm going to read this off my notes. It's about time I read it. Su <clears throat> Success is finding your passion and sticking with it. And that's a life lesson. I think, I think we're having a beer break now, so good luck. <laughs>